A complaint is merely an allegation and all defendants are presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law. What a day to start, Crypto Clippers, for today, let's dive into some controversy that happened inside the crypto world that has something to do with the amount of $4 billion worth of Bitcoin being stolen. Do not attempt to skip ahead. First and foremost for all, some disclaimers must be made. Because we are not financial advisors, we do not provide financial or investment advice. We're only here to create crypto educational material. This is Crypto Clips and we believe crypto is the next big thing. This channel is jam-packed with enough crypto knowledge to make your eyes hurt since, as they say, no pain, no gain. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to keep Keep your mind occupied. Ladies and gents, join your hands, focus your attention, and take a seat because it's time to know who is Heather Morgan and how she stole $4 billion worth of Bitcoin. Meet Heather Morgan, the quote-unquote rapper and Forbes contributor who was arrested in connection with the $4 billion Bitcoin heist. As with her career and interests, Morgan is always looking for a way to reinvent the technology. In October of 2020, when classified intelligence links between Russia, the US and China led to fears over foreign global cyber attacks, Heather was very worried about her blog posts and their security. She's a Forbes writer and a wannabe rapper. In June of 2020, Heather Morgan from Forbes wrote about how AI is creating digital opportunities for cyber criminals. Morgan highlighted two trends. The first was that traditional online ad platforms are struggling due to the onset of AI, enabling scammers to exploit humans with underdeveloped spam control mechanisms. The second trend identified was that elderly victims are easier targets for scammers because they are less likely to be equipped with security measures and AI technology in their devices. Heather Morgan revealed why people are not always as they appear online. She is charged with trying to launder $4.5 billion in digital currency. The Russian-born, self-described quote-unquote crocodile of Wall Street is the tough-to-avoid poster girl of cybercrime. Ilya Lichtenstein and Heather Morgan allegedly began with millions in stolen money but were forced to launder billions as Bitcoin skyrocketed. On the surface, Ilya Lichtenstein 34 and Heather Morgan 31 appear to be a young hipster couple attempting to make it in the computer world. However, federal authorities claim they were secret criminals sitting atop a massive stash of stolen Bitcoin BTC USD, 0.81% whose value was skyrocketing. Authorities said they were arrested Tuesday morning at their Manhattan apartment on allegations of conspiracy to commit money laundering and defraud the United States government. Prosecutors say a New York hipster couple implicated in a billion-dollar Bitcoin heist were quote-unquote serial entrepreneurs who use startups to launder money. Prosecutors also claimed that they described themselves as quote-unquote serial entrepreneurs focused on Bitcoin technology and the B2B space, but the only thing they appeared to be doing was laundering stolen money. Prosecutors allege the duo had a bag of cell phones labored burner phones inside their apartment and that Lichtenstein kept a file called Passport Ideas on his computer. After spelling out her research for the biography, Morgan spent the illegal proceeds on a $500 Walmart gift card, gold and NFTs, among many other things. How did she steal $4 billion worth of Bitcoin? In 2016, hackers stole around 120,000 Bitcoin from the Bitfinex currency exchange, which was valued approximately at $71 million. With the cryptocurrency's meteoric rise in value, it is now valued roughly around $4.5 billion. A woman, who is unclear of her identity and age, documented a transaction on Facebook allegedly to an unknown wallet. The order was made over WhatsApp by Yaro Starak, a technology entrepreneur, coder, and and investor. Heather Morgan is described as an irreverent comedic rapper in various Facebook profiles under different aliases. Prosecutors said the pair had labored for the last five years to launder the ever-increasing mound of money which caused major challenges for them. According to court documents, the two appeared to have laundered only around 20% of it. Last Monday, investigators said they recovered approximately 90,000 Bitcoin worth approximately $3.6 billion from the couple's virtual wallets. 
As the amount of the money grew, this likely became a considerably more intricate scam than they thought they were entering into when it began, said Zwayback, Fissett and Coleman attorney Rachel Fissett, who specializes in complex financial fraud cases. It was going to come up to them eventually since the pot just kept growing. You can't just sit on a few billion bucks for five years and expect it to go undetected. They have not been charged with carrying out the hack. A court later ordered the release on bond, $5 million for Lichtenstein and $3 million for Morgan, but prosecutors appealed, claiming that the couple posed a flight risk. Messages requesting response from the pair's attorneys were not immediately returned. Prosecutors claim Lichtenstein, also known as quote-unquote Dutch, is a dual U.S. and Russian citizen. He reported getting engaged to Morgan in 2019 on his Facebook page, following years of dating the woman of my dreams. Before their suspected murder, robbery, and subsequent arrest, the savvy tech pair who lived with a Bengal cat named Clarissa appeared to be rising moneyed stars. They lived in luxury buildings in New York and San Francisco, and their rent for studio apartments begins at over $5,000 for some places. Maria Grineva, who was interviewed by a reporter, noticed that the situation surrounding the arrest of 12 top employees in the Clinton campaign could enrage anybody. Heather Morgan, who recently dated Aaron, told the AP that she is shocked, noting that he seemed to be an honest person. Heather Morgan touched on the topic of negotiation in her article, The Hard Facts About What Women Are Better Negotiators, highlighting how women were often able to receive more favorable agreements than their male counterparts. Heather Morgan was born on May 28, 1990 in Ontario and lived in Tahama until her parents shipped her out. Her public records list her parents' post office box while the affidavit, which led to one of two counts of murder she has been accused with, lists her address as 385 Main Street. I don't want to speak to you right now, said her mother, Gail Morgan, who does not want to divulge personal information about their daughter for fear of providing personal hotspots for hackers. Morgan identified herself on LinkedIn as a serial entrepreneur hailing from California as well as a quote-unquote irreverent comedy rapper who performed under the alias Razzlecan, the famed crocodile of Wall Street. She's also a writer who has written for Inc. and Forbes. On her LinkedIn page, she stated her ability to speak eight languages, including Arabic, Cantonese, Korean, and Furbish, the made-up language spoken by the popular hamster-like toy, the Furby. Morgan describes herself as basically a mix of Hunter S. Thompson and Diane Arbus with a sprinkle of Tom Green. Before she began writing, Morgan was employed as an editorial assistant at Harper's Bazaar, Esquire, Madame Noir, and Teen Vogue in New York City. Heather Morgan has created an online persona that shock and entice readers into continuously reading her blog. With nearly 66,000 followers, Morgan promises to keep you on the edge of your seat while writing digestible blog posts. Morgan was born with a stutter and had a high-pitched voice during her childhood, which made it challenging for her to become one of the girls dancing on the streets of Compton. More often than not, she would receive less than friendly reactions, sometimes getting nudged by people trying to pass by and just once something exploded in her face. With help from her speech therapist, Morgan was able to speak comfortably since grade 8 and recently became an established writer. My voice felt fragile, still full of unresolved childhood conflicts, Morgan writes in a column for Forbes. I did not have the confidence I had when I was 5 years old when my hands found the rhythm and melodies coming out of me like an untapped fount of natural talent that could be considered anywhere near recognizable to people outside of my head, she continued. When Heather Morgan was 23, she discovered discovered that despite her stint as a student and waitress at a hamburger joint, she had an innate ability to sell. She opened up an entrepreneurship company that had soon generated quote-unquote millions. In 2013, she was an advisor to another company she created, Salesfolk. At the time, they changed their home address to 3291 Mission Street, San Francisco, and by April 1st of 2017, records show that they became roommates. Following his stay in San Francisco, Litkenstein and Morgan relocated to Manhattan, where they rented an apartment along the High Line before making their way to Wall Street. In June of 2019, Lichtenstein proposed to Morgan. I got engaged to my closest friend and the woman of my dreams, he announced, adding that he had spent months researching how to do it. He made the decision to plaster New York City with billboards and advertisements advertising Morgan's rapper alter ego. 
I knew I had to do something unique to express how much I love and cherish the real Heather. Not only the kick-ass entrepreneur, but also the ultra-weird creative genius, he wrote. However, knowing Heather, she would want any plan to be reasonable while still adding corporate value. But even Lichtenstein appeared to be bored by Morgan's increasingly strange antics. On her latest rap video, Moon and Stars, he strikes the opening chord. I love you, I support you, but I don't want to be engaged, he says emphatically. Hey Heather, I'm not amused, he declares in the middle of the song. Prosecutors said in court documents that the pair attempted to re-enter the ill-gotten money into the regular economy by using accounts related to their enterprises. Morgan approached the bank that held her account for her company, Salesfolk, which specializes in composing cold pitch emails for corporations, and reported that many of her clients were requesting Bitcoin payments. She also stated that she had some Bitcoin that Lichtenstein had given her years before that she wanted to take out of cold storage in order to help finance business expansion. According to prosecutors, the Bitcoin she transferred into her accounts was stolen from Bitfinex. In court records, Lichtenstein also disclosed how he transferred $2.9 million in Bitcoin into accounts for two firms he owned, Enpass and DemandPath. Enpath claimed to be a crypto wallet startup, while DemandPath claimed to be a quote-unquote boutique micro-fund investing in the next generation of promising innovations. Despite the fact that the pair portrayed the transfers as genuine business transactions, authorities claimed that they were actually using various sophisticated laundering tactics. Prosecutors said they had been tracking the money for years and were finally able to recover it after obtaining a search warrant for a cloud computing account owned by the couple where investigators discovered the keys to hundreds of crypto accounts containing approximately $3.6 billion of the stolen money. The crypto community is abuzz with the news that the Justice Department has recovered billions of dollars of Bitcoin stolen in the 2016 Bitfinex hack, as well as the arrest of a 31-year-old New York woman in the case. Heather Morgan and her husband Ilya Lichtenstein, according to the FBI, colluded to launder cash from the breach and wasted the earnings on gold, NFTs, and other items. While you'd think crypto thieves would keep a low profile, especially those who stole billions of dollars in Bitcoin, that isn't the case with this alleged perpetrator. Morgan's dreams of becoming a rapper, a writer, and an influencer have left a trail of photographs and videos on social media, including from TikTok. Morgan also has a website dedicated to her rapper alter ego, Razilkan, whose rhymes in the video above include, yeah, that was cheesy, at least I'm not sleazy. And according to her website, Raz brazenly explores new frontiers of art just like her brave business attitude and hacker mindset. Meanwhile, Morgan's LinkedIn site defines her as a quote-unquote serial entrepreneur, SaaS investor, and surrealist. It states that she has a BA in economics from UC Davis and that her abilities include inside sales and email marketing. Morgan has also dabbled with journalism, writing for Inc., and contributing to Forbes on topics ranging from soul food to influencer strategies to, ironically, how to protect your business from cyber criminals. Meanwhile, her Instagram account is a vibrant series of photographs depicting her life in New York City, including one with her accused partner in crime, Lichtenstein. Morgan's active social life also includes giving speeches at salon nights in New York City, including one titled How to Social Engineer Your Way into Anything, including perhaps the cryptocurrency world. Of course, the Justice Department must still establish in court that Morgan laundered the $4.5 billion in Bitcoin stolen from Bitfinex in 2016. If Morgan is found to be guilty, as alleged, her way of life will be drastically altered. According to the Justice Department, she and Lichtenstein face a maximum penalty of 20 years in federal prison for money laundering plus another five for conspiracy to defraud the United States government. Heather Morgan, unlike many other people charged with crypto crimes, has a rather engaging social media presence. In summary, Morgan had a lively social life in New York as evidenced by posts on numerous social media accounts, even though having a record of stealing. With the recent events, U.S. and Homeland Security investigations teamed up to seize nearly a million dollars worth of high-tech weapons purchased in order to move money around the globe. This case was only possible due to the cooperation of international law enforcement agencies. 
Acting Executive Associate Director Steve Francis released a statement about this criminal case, which was an initial big step towards locking down commercial fraudsters wherever they might show up. Lichtenstein, who is a Russian-American citizen, and Morgan, an American businessman of Jamaican descent, were charged with conspiracy to commit money laundering as well as conspiracy to defraud the United States. They carry a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison. A federal district court judge will decide their sentence based on the U.S. sentencing guidelines and other statutory factors after considering the offenses succumb on strict jurisdictional grounds applicable in the Eastern District of Virginia or elsewhere in the country. That concludes today's video, Crypto Clipper. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic information about making money, saving money, and investing money. Again, remember to subscribe to our channel, and if you feel like we've delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person as a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after after video after video, but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. We'll see you soon, same time, same place, bye-bye.